Okay guys, so I've got a great selection of guitars for you here today. I've uh, got beautiful little amicus here, uh, some nylons, actually I think we have three nylons on the, the rack today. Uh, three really exquisite virtuose, this red uh, Royal Ebony, a really really cool purple one here. A um, couple of X20s, see more nylons here. A uh, fan fret, got to check out this fan fret. Uh, and next 30 came okay, Mera double neck and a big baller bass and a bunch of other nice ones here on that so really really great selection of guitars that are going out and uh, as always if you don't know what the, the shipping video is it's just the time of the week where we have a look at the guitars that are shipping out around the world and it's just a great way to see all the different specs and give you guys a shout out so uh, I always like to give you little updates uh, last week I was telling you about um, my trip to California so uh, it's coming right around the corner. We're going to be going out uh, very soon, flying out to California, flying to San, uh, San Francisco on the 29th of May. And uh, the whole purpose behind the trip is to film content. We're uh, going to be creating a new series on our YouTube channel called uh, The Pursuit of Inspiration, where we're going to meet inspiring people in inspiring places and tell inspiring stories and just really see the things that have inspired my work over the years and. Um, and uh, I just take you on some really, really interesting journeys. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we've got a fantastic lineup of things that we're gonna be doing. And I want you guys maybe to get involved. If you happen to be in San Francisco um, or right down the, the Pacific Coast Highway, then maybe you can come and meet up with us. So the itinerary uh, so far on May 30th, uh, which is Memorial Day, we're gonna be, um, we're going out sailing on, the, on that morning and that's gonna be a fantastic experience out in the bay. And then on the afternoon of the 30th, we're going to have uh, a picnic and a gathering of different emerald owners and uh, just a place to come hang out and have a jam. We haven't set an exact location of that just yet. We're trying to find uh, the right spot. But uh, if you're in the San Francisco area and you're a fan of emerald guitars, if you own an emerald guitar or if you don't uh, and uh, just interested in what we do, come along, hang out and we're going to find somewhere in a park to, uh, to play guitars and have fun. Um, May 31st we're going to be in Santa Cruz and uh, we're going to do something there as well uh, possibly in the morning or possibly in the evening not sure exactly what that's going to look like just yet but uh, if you're in the Santa Cruz area definitely get in touch with me uh, we've got already got a couple of people lined up there and uh, that's such a cool area uh, June 1st we're going to be driving down the Pacific Coast Highway and uh, heading down uh, towards Big Sur and we're going to be stopping off in the Pentha restaurant which is a stunning place that I've been before uh, just looking out over the Pacific we're gonna stop there for lunch so uh, if that's somewhere you want to come and have lunch with us drop me a message we'll do that um, I'm going on down then spending the second uh, of June with my sister in Solvang and uh, that's gonna be a really nice time I don't know if we're gonna do any kind of uh, music related um, uh, thing there or there be any possibility to uh, to catch up but if you're in that area as well definitely let us know. Uh, June 3rd and 4th uh, we're going to be at NAMM show so that's always a big party. We're going to be meeting a lot of friends, uh, we're delivering a couple of guitars to some very interesting people there and uh, we're not exhibiting so there's not going to be an emerald booth but we are going to have a presence and, uh, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, June 5th and uh, that's going to be a post NAMM hangover a little bit uh, we're going to be in Newport Beach. We're, uh, we're delivering a, a custom guitar to somebody special there in that area. And we're also going to be filming some content on the beach there in that area. We're hoping to hang up, uh, connect up with uh, some of the local um, surfers and, uh, and some music related connections down there in Newport Beach. So again, if you're in that area, let us know. Uh, June 6th is uh, the day we fly out. So we fly out at 8 p.m. that night and we thought what better way to finish off this trip then to go and hang out in Venice Beach. So um, we're gonna, I think, stay the night and uh, on June 5th in Venice Beach and, uh, and hang out there on the day of the 6th. Uh, get some sun, hopefully meet some people. It's just such a cool, vibrant place and an area that has really inspired me over the years. Years going by, uh, like back, I guess, 20 years ago, every time I went to Nam, I would always stay in Venice Beach for a night or two. And it just was like, you know, it's full of energy, art, interest in people and uh, it just always kind of, you know, give me a buzz. So we're gonna go and hang out there and um, hopefully meet some people, have a jam on the beach, who knows what'll happen. So that's it. Uh, if you're interested in, in getting involved, as I say, send a message in, 
uh, contact us directly, you know, through Messenger uh, or uh, directly through the sales desk. The guys can uh, can put you in touch, and we can just keep you in the loop with uh, with the details as they emerge. But we're going to create some really fantastic content, and uh, it's this is a big step forward, big change in our direction of content, and we're really excited about it. Now, guitars, because you're here to watch guitars. So, uh, first one is going out to Keith in Georgia, and a uh, great way to start in Amicus. And uh, I love that the Amicus is really starting to get the, um, the popularity that it deserves. And uh, we're going to be doing some more with the Amicus uh, very soon, and you'll, you'll see the one that I'm delivering uh, while we're in California. So, uh, the Amicus is our little short skill 12 string, just such a great sound. Please go to our YouTube channel and uh, and check out the different um, performances there on the Amicus. Uh, this one's finished in our black carbon. And a great way to start actually as well because every Ermel guitar starts off with black carbon fiber. Uh, this is the natural form of the carbon and uh, just a clear coat over the top of it. So it really lets you see um, the starting point of, uh, of what the, the foundation of all our guitars is. And you're gonna see them on all different colors here and different veneers on top. But this really is the, is the heart of it all. So uh, this one is going out to Alan in uh, Illinois and uh, it's an X7 nylon so it's our short scale nylon string under the compact body and uh, but finished with uh, with a nylon string so we, we take our standard body shape uh, so it comes out of the same mold but it's made in quite a different way so we, we have a different construction of the top uh, we reduce the materials we lighten up the top make it much more responsive so it's designed specifically for nylon string. It's a different bridge, uh, totally different headstock with a slotted headstock design. Um, so while it's uh, the same uh, dimensions as our steel string X7, it's uh, it's quite a different beast. Um, so got those beautiful compact proportions. Works really nice on on a nylon guitar. And uh, and this one's been finished in copper brown, which is a a, a custom color that we've done in the past, which is a Kind of like our amber, but a little bit more brown, and uh, goes very nicely on this instrument. Now the next one is going to uh, Rafi in Hampshire, and uh, Rafi has chosen this exquisite virtual. So uh, the veneer on top is Royal Ebony, and as I was saying to you, you know about carbon. So we start off with black carbon fiber. Uh, but during the molding process, we infuse these uh, these veneers onto the top. So under vacuum, the resin is impregnated into the, the veneer and everything is just molded together in one piece. So really it fuses the veneer together into the carbon fiber. Uh, so this one's Royal Ebony, a really uh, unique and stunning piece of veneer. And uh, it's been finished over with uh, with a red tint. The, the back and sides has been done with vibrant weave with red. Uh, so that vibrant red color, it just goes so well with the, the red on the top and uh, and then the white vine inlay running up the neck. Next up, David in Lancaster. And uh, David's gone for uh, another Virtuo with uh, Paul Ferro on top. Gold hardware, gold knots on the fretboard and a vibrant gold back and side. Well, we call it amber, but it is, uh, as you can see, it's gold. Uh, gold hardware uh, just goes so well with that. Great color combination and a really beautiful instrument. Now, this one caught my eye today. Robert in California. Um, so, Robert, I don't know where you're at in California, actually. Maybe uh, you might happen to be somewhere on a route. Um, what a really cool instrument. Um, purple is something we've been doing more of recently. We recently added purple as an option on the 3D Builder and um, this is the results. Uh, a purple virtue. Uh, you might have seen the David K video that we did um, a little while ago. Uh, actually on, a, on an X30 baritone um, where he played uh, Purple Rain. Now, I think if I was to ask David, he probably would prefer to play it on a virtue because uh, it's, it definitely, definitely would have struggled a little bit less on the solo. Um, oh no, actually on the solo that he did actually change to a virtual. So maybe he should have had this one here. But uh, what a great guitar. That's definitely a guitar to play Purple Rain on. Uh, gold hardware and uh, 
purple carp in the back of the sides. Um, that really is something else. Wonderful. Then we've got Robert in Texas. So Robert has, uh, has an X20, uh, finished number. So uh, it's our X20 with uh, the adjustable bridge. So you get all that adjustability so you can easily set your action height and your intonation within seconds. Um, it's got six individual pickups with a little discrete volume control here. So uh, just a very, uh, very um, versatile guitar, uh, but a very discreet little control system here as well on it. Uh, and we're back in size. Then we've got Raul in uh, New Jersey. Wow, check out this piece of Royal Ebony. So Royal Ebony is really is one of my favorites because it's just so unique. Every piece is really, really different. Um, and this piece is, uh, has really got some standout characteristics. Uh, just such an interesting pattern down here. It's got all this quilting and this, you know, it's like a crazy zigzag pattern. Almost like somebody drew this by hand. You know, it's incredible that, uh, that this comes out natural out of nature. Um, just the contrast of colors. I love this darker bit coming running up the center here. Um, it's just got so much going on with it, so much great detail. And uh, it's uh, amber back and sides. And uh, I think that all goes really nicely together. Then we've got Robert, Missouri. So uh, Robert has gone for uh, an X20 nylon and uh, this really really cool piece of koa now i'm not sure if we even have any of this flame pattern koa left um it was a batch that we had that has uh, this unique characteristic of this um kind of like flames that were coming up out of it and uh it's also got a great uh kind of flame characteristic as well running across it so it's got an awful lot of character great bit of movement in that koa and fantastic colors um gold rings on the neck just nice subtle detail there on the neck and, uh, and then an amber back and sides. And another nylon is going to Wolfgang in Germany. And uh, it's another really standout one. Um, it's got uh, full vibrant weave amber. Uh, it's got gold Celtic knots on the fretboard. It's got gold hardware on the headstock. These beautiful shirtler tuners. And uh, just overall, a really standout instrument. Just fantastic colors. It's just how it catches the light, works so well. And um, with the uh, adjustable bridge. So, uh, you know, this is something, I guess, really forward thinking for a nylon guitar, or something that's normally so traditional. Um, but on this, we find this to work really well the uh, six individual pickups, and um, it just gives great string separation and definition. So amplified sounds fantastic, acoustic it still sounds great. Uh, and this one, it's also got uh, the combination of these pickups and K, &K pickups on the internal. So all controlled with two volume controls here, uh, so you can blend the two together. So uh, very versatile, gives a lot of tonal effect. Christopher in Minnesota. So um, Christopher has, uh, has this seven string fan fret and uh, if you're ever looking for a seven string guitar then Emerald Guitars is probably one of the few companies that do a seven string acoustic as a, as a standard and it's the one guitar in a range that comes as standard with fan frets and uh, that's for good purpose and that's because on a seven string you've got this low B and it's really hard at a standard scale length to really get good definition out of that low B. So with fan frets, you've got a 27 inch scale here, 25 here, or 25 and a half, sorry. And uh, it just gives a real nice even spread right across and um, a lot of power in the low B, which is uh, something that's really important. Uh, fully adjustable bridge here. And again, it's got the, the dual pickup system between the K and K uh, and the, uh, the piezos. Uh, finished in red carbon. I just think that the fan frets just look so cool to look at. Uh, and that bridge, I think, is, is really something nice too. Then we've got Jim in Ohio. So check out this 630. Uh, 
We have some really fantastic redwood burl in our stock at the moment. And I think I've talked about it over the last couple of weeks. And um, it's got amazing patterns in it. And uh, looking at this one, what I see um, is just the positioning of how there's like a uh, a run of, of tighter burl that runs right around the edge. And it almost looks like it's been positioned exactly and has been positioned exactly to be like that because that's what our 3D builder allows you to do. Um, but uh, yeah, just the positioning fits so well with the body of the guitar, flows right around the edge of the guitar. Uh, this nice detail, it's like a, like a nice um, sort of kaleidoscope of, uh, of wave patterns running down through the center here on the book match, um, just frames nicely from the neck down. Um, fantastic patterns. Uh, beautiful, beautiful 12 string. And uh, wow, yeah, X30 12 string. I think I've talked about that. I've had a couple in the last couple of weeks. Um, it's become very popular and it's just such a big full sound, you know. So the X30 gives you all that, you know, the big bassy body. But uh, then whenever you put the octave strings on as well, you get even more shimmer and chime. So it's very, very well balanced, very powerful. Just sounds like an orchestra. And um, red carbon back and sides. And uh, I think that goes nicely with the redwood burl. Yeah, I, I wish I could just start and play these, but uh, we're not set up for proper sound, and my ability is not set up for playing for you. So um, yeah, that's. I think we've got some videos uh, of an X30 12 string being played. So definitely go and check that out on the YouTube channel. Uh, but a really exquisite sounding instrument. Now it's a uh, it's a few weeks since we've had a Chimera. On the list and um, very nice to have another one here. Uh, so the Chimera is our, uh, our acoustic double neck guitar and we've been doing it for a long number of years. We've made some uh, tweaks and changes recently to uh, the pickup configuration on it and um, I'm very nice to see one coming through with, uh, with these appointments. So beautiful gold hardware. Um, Celtic knot inlays just look fantastic on the neck. I think uh, double the impact when you've got double the inlays. Um, this one has uh, the fantastic pickup system in combination here. So you've got uh, the um, the Crevo and uh, and the piezos, and then on this neck, what we've actually got is uh, is an under saddle pickup system, uh, and they're all controlled under individual uh, volume controls here, and uh, and a three way that takes you between the necks. So uh, so really versatile, very easy to use and um, a fantastic sound. Even when you're playing just the six string in these, the extra shimmer you get off the 12 string, so or almost like a sympathetic resonance that uh, they just sound so good with these. See the back and sides, beautifully contoured, and uh, gold hardware just contrasts so nicely with the, the green. So, uh, so William, hopefully you'll put that to good use. Last one today is uh, Bradley in New York. And uh, Bradley's gone for one of our big Fowler acoustic basses. And uh, you know, I guess this was a, a design study of just trying to build an acoustic bass that, um, that had the biggest possible performance. And you have to have a big, big body to get uh, really a lot of deep bass tones out of a, a, an acoustic instrument like this. And um, we used the, all the benefits of carbon fiber to to create something that's very sculpted and you see it much much better on the back you can see just how sculpted this body is here with the, the asymmetrical side and that really allows it to sit very comfortably into your knee the giant scoop here really allows it to sit nice and much closer into your body forearm bevel and uh, just the overall uh, extra cutaway here just makes it a, a very very playable instrument even though it's size is it's really really big uh, but, uh, but with a big instrument comes a big sound. So if you're a bass player, I think you understand that. It's, um, it's, it's all about size in a lot of ways. Um, one of the things that we've started doing on the acoustic bass as well, to keep it on the theme of the others, is, uh, is added the adjustable bridge. And it's been a great innovation, I think, on the acoustic bass. The acoustic bass is one of those things that um, I think there's big variation in intonation depending on string type. There's also a big uh, variation in action height, uh, depending on your playing preference. You know, if you're looking for a a really, um, I guess a, a really 
clean bass sound, you're going to need the higher action on an acoustic bass. And uh, so it's, uh, it allows you to be able to bring that up or down, depending on how you're playing. So uh, it's a nice one to finish on this week. So, Bradley, let us know what you think of the, the Baller bass when you get it. Okay, so we've still got a few more guitars to go. Uh, these are the guitars that are shipped out of our stock. Um, and uh, it's nice to give them a shout out as well. Um, so we would typically, just to let you know maybe a little bit about how the shipping video happens and just the scheduling of things, because somebody would you know, wonder, you know, why is my guitar not in the video or whatever, and, and time-wise. So um, what we decided we would do is, anybody that custom orders a guitar, then we can have it in the shipping video. We typically film it on, typically film it on a Wednesday. Uh, the guitars then ship out on a Friday. Uh, the, uh, the video goes out on a Friday as well. And uh, if you were to buy a custom or a stock guitar, say in a weekend, we don't want to have to hold that and then it's not shipping out for another week. So that's why we decided we used to do that. But we decided we would uh, we would just add them into video. So it's just a nice way to do it. And um, uh, yeah, so this is the guitars that went out this uh, this past week. Uh, so Hannah in England has an X20 with uh, black carbon. Uh, Sylvian in France, a Virtuo, also with black carbon. Gina in Florida, and uh, she's got uh, this Amicus in green carbon. Uh, John in Massachusetts, uh, next 20, with uh, one of my favorites, the uh, Vintage Amber Burst on Quilted Maple, next 20. Uh, Rohit in uh, Colorado, uh, next 10, with uh, Clara Walnut. Uh, Donut in Canada, uh, next 20, with uh, Paul Farrell Veneer and uh, Amber Back the Sides. Um, Richard in Washington, Synergy X20. And uh, nice to see uh, another synergy going out there. Um, really, one of my favorites. It's just such a cool instrument and uh, just uh, speaks a lot for the kind of interest and things we like to do here. So, going out with the uh, clear carbon. Uh, Andrew in Canada and uh, a Virtuo with uh, Zircotti veneer and uh, amber back and sides. And last one this week is uh, going out to Christian in Texas and it's a Virtuo with. Um, with a clear carbon finish. So uh, another great week and, uh, and thanks for watching along. This may be possibly, possibly the last shipping video that we do up here. Um, our new shipping room, we're almost ready and uh, if all goes well, we may possibly film the next shipping video in that. So, uh, so that'll be exciting, that'll be fantastic if that happens. Uh, if it doesn't, it'll be the following week. Uh, or maybe the following week after that because that following week I'll be in California um, So uh, so thanks for watching along guys Remember if you are down that California coast and you want to hang out you want to meet us uh, We're gonna have um, a nice selection of guitars along with us as well some to play some that we'll be delivering to people But uh, yeah, definitely come and, uh, and meet us along the way if you've been watching these videos and you're just interested in seeing an Emerald guitar and you you know you haven't had a, an opportunity to play one or try one again if you're in that area come and see us uh, we'd love to do that so that's really what it's all about the pursuit of inspiration and really at the end of the day the people that inspire me most and the thing that inspire, inspires me most is the customers uh, Emerald Guitars is such a, an incredible um, range of customers around the world that have just been so um, so given of their their uh, their feedback and their enthusiasm and their love and that has inspired what we do and really has molded and shaped Emerald more than anything else. So uh, so I'm looking forward to meeting some of you guys in a couple of weeks time. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again very soon.